Hey guys, today I'll be looking at a Jaguar XF 3 litre diesel portfolio sport brake. This is a 2018 uh, 68 plate model. It's finished in Ferenz Red or Italian Racing Red Metallic. Uh, Land Rover calls it Ferenz, Jaguar calls it um, Italian Racing. Get front bison on headlight standard. This has got the 19 inch seven split spoke uh, black diamond cut wheels, the seven, style 7013s. You get 20 inch wheels, but let's ride comfort with them. It's just had a full set of Pirelli P0s put on 18 months ago. Full Jaguar service history as well. It's one year interval on these cars. Uh, this is a portfolio. You have three different trims on the sport brake. Uh, the XF came out in 2008 model year and the sport brake uh, came in for the 2012 model year used to have a luxury uh, premium luxury and portfolio trims now you just get the portfolio you get an s which you'd think gives you more brake horsepower but it still gives you the same 300 brake engine and you get a 300 sport which is a slightly sportier one uh, this is the only portfolio on Auto Trade, uh, Auto Trader, uh, the Sport Brake 3 litre diesel, 300 brake. It's the only portfolio, so it's very rare. It's a very rare car. You've got twin chrome exhaust pipes. You've got these lovely uh, updated Jaguar headlights. This is the second gen of the Sport Brake. It's a much sleeker looking car. Got a lovely Jaguar badge on my back. Privacy. Got a parcel shelf, Jaguar rubber loot boot load protector, temporary spare wheel, bright red, so everyone knows you've got a temporary spare wheel when you're driving around with it. Uh, this has got a DPF filter, standard on all cars from 2008 and above. Automatic electric tailgate, which is nice. Got a nice Jaguar key. I love, I've always loved this square key they've done. You can activate the front headlights as well on it. And yeah, it does look quite nice overall. So privacy is an option. Portfolio is the highest trim level you can get on an XF off this time or an XE. The XF is a slightly bigger version of the XE. They brought that out um, a while ago. It's a smart, uh, the smaller brother to the XF. Inside, it's uh, the portfolio gets standard perforated Windsor leather. I think this leather looks really nice. Perforated beer, my holes in them. This is finished in latte with espresso. That's uh, the main reason I bought this car. And also the uh, panoramic roof with a gesture blind. I'll show that in a minute. Got rear cup holders. There's a lot of space in the state. A lot of boot room, obviously. 12 volt sockets in the back here. You've got these air vents with the Jaguar logo there. You've got this uh, ebony wood trim as well. And the aluminium etched finisher. You've got a lock button here. You should probably unlock the car because it might start alarming. You've also got soft closed doors, which is quite nice. That's an option. The actuators, they work on all four doors as well, I've checked. It's got suede cloth headlining, standard. I think it's standard on most of the trims of the XF, which I was quite surprised, but it's definitely standard on portfolio. You used to also get that. What you used to get standard on portfolios was basically just cooled seats, adaptive corner and headlights. You used to get suede cloth headlining. You used to get the 825 watt Meridian sound, or back in the day it was uh, 440 watt Bowers and Wilkins got keyless entry which is standard on my portfolio trim you've got 12-way adjustable electric seats with eight-way electric adjustment and four-way lumbar moving in on the car we've also got an electric uh, memory steering column which is standard uh, sorry an, an option in the on the car but it's standard in the driver memory pack to start the car up, um, the start-stop button pulse is red, which is quite nice. Same on the F-types as well. Levitating, uh, rotating gear shifter. You've got the wood trim here, wood going there. Like I said, latte over espresso looks really nice. And you've got this aluminium trim 
what I've always absolutely loved on these XFs is the air vents. I've absolutely loved those. The electronic air vents. I think they look really cool, they do. So yeah, on the inside, it's got a driver memory pack. You've got the driver's only seat with three set memory. It's got the, when you option the pan roof blind on the sport brake, um, you get a gesture blind. So you pull this forward to your hand and it goes forwards. I think it's really cool that is. I've always loved that on the Jaguars and Land Rovers. Otherwise, you've just got a button here you can use. Obviously, it doesn't open, but panoramic is very large, this sunroof. It goes across the whole span of a roof there, almost. Down the middle, you've got different driving modes. This has got the optional uh, configurable dynamics. It's got the quite rare, um, it's quite rare to find it on XFs. It's got the full digital driver's display and the 10 inch touch screen. I absolutely hate that other touch screen which has got a buttons on the side, it's an eight inch touch screen. It's just the in control normal system. And the gauges, I think the digital cluster looks a lot nicer. I've just reviewed the 335D BMW Touring. It'll be the same price as this. It's also got the digital and it's got the upgraded uh, Pro Nav infotainment. It definitely does make a difference and it's a lot better than the normal one. Um, the the Digital display is quite rare. It's got the optional head up display with speed limit display. This has got the fully loaded active safety pack as well. In this, you get adaptive cruise control, which is quite rare on uh, Jaguar XFs. You've got blind spot monitoring, uh, lane keeping assist. When you launch this up, you've got lane keep, blind spot, you've got forward collision alert, and cross traffic, uh, reverse cross traffic detection and forward as well which is quite advanced um yeah i love the uh, dynamic mode as well you can change the gauge cluster you can have a full um display a full map display although i don't really like it i think it looks really nice in here with the sports dials it's also got the adaptive dynamics option what this is is um active variable dampers so it's like adaptive suspension basically um, it's quite nice. This car's got about 13k worth of options. So you've got active safety pack. It's over two grand. Head up display. It's about a grand. And you've got this solar windscreen. And you've also got a heated windscreen with that. This is this has got heating elements like the Ford. Ford's suede cloth headlining is quite nice. You've got some storage in here. Two USBs. Micro SIM card. The nav is a SSD unit, not um, like an SD card, which the other unit is. So graphically, not as good. Processing won't be as good, obviously. It won't be as responsive. The 8-inch touchscreen with those buttons. I think this looks much cleaner without the buttons. You can click this button and have a nice screensaver. I love that one. That looks quite nice. You've got the X, F there. That's the S trim level. You've got the S badge on there. All it is, is it just makes it aesthetically different. It's still got the same engine. Normally, S increases the horsepower for car, but in this case, it just keeps the same horsepower. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, this has also got the, I liked this when I was buying it. It's got the surround camera system, uh, which is good. So it's got advanced parking pack, surround camera system, 360 parking aid, and it's also got the self-parking system. Parallel park perpendicular park and parking exit although i wouldn't always trust the self-parking system you've got in controller pro infotainment system with a nav in the middle here you've got i love this just like the old portfolios it's got the heated and ventilated front seats those are not standard the cord you have to pay for so yeah um it's quite nice uh, what else do you get? I'm trying to think of what else you got. You've got paddle shift here. You've got electric folded mirrors, heated. You've got to click both these uh, mirror buttons left and right at the same time. You've got the Meridian 380 watt sound system with subwoofer. It's got 11 speakers, 10 including plus one for subwoofer. You've got two on this door, two on the other, four, five, six, and then seven eight nine ten and subwoofer counts as a big speaker so yeah 
it's quite nice obviously put in reverse you've got a reverse camera here which is quite nice you've got dab radio what you normally get you've got this dynamic uh because because it's got the dynamic mode you can have all this stuff a uh, change of steering suspension engine and gear shifting uh have a lap timer and g meter and a throttle brake graph there you've also got the nice jaguar bar going across the whole dashboard as well it's like an unbroken line with a jaguar badge there head up display there you got illuminated uh tread plate seals stainless steel tread plate nice carpets as well I'm trying to think of what else it's got i might have missed a few things but yeah it's got it's fully loaded with options i mean the roof and everything uh, let me just quickly open up the bonnet a very nice spec you've got these red center caps as well adaptive cruise control car uh, models um you'll see it'll have this plastic film on the front of the grill if you don't see that then you know for a fact it doesn't have adaptive cruise and the camera system here as well you'll know it has a surround camera by having the front camera front facing camera obviously like i said full jaguar service history so it's had five services and uh yeah so under the bonnet you get a three litre twin turbo charged diesel of 300 brake horsepower and it's quite torquey 700 newton meters it's quite rare to have this uh kind of three litre diesel uh even rarer of a three litre petrol but obviously a petrol 380 brake doesn't have as much torque um but yeah quite a nice car you get the black chrome front grille as well you'll notice adaptive if you have adaptive cruise option the grille has to be black um yeah you've got a chrome side vents there electric folded mirrors like i said three liter diesel sport brake portfolio so very rare i think ours is the only one on auto trader around the back you've got those nice for chrome exhaust it's got the 30d deletion as well um so you don't really know this if this car's a three liter or not it's very hard to tell from the outside hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll uh, see you in the next one